The White House is rejecting suggestions that Donald Trump's presidency is in turmoil, despite the resignation of his national security adviser, Michael Flynn, less than a month into the new administration. General Flynn had admitted misleading colleagues over his contact with Russian diplomats before Mr. Trump took office. Our North America editor, John Sopel, has the story. They were oh so close, politically inseparable. But after just three weeks as national security adviser, Michael Flynn has gone in a stunning fall from grace after a day of chaos and confusion at the White House. The camera-loving president suddenly becoming camera shy when asked about his future. But today the president's spokesman came out all guns blazing. The former close friend had lost the president's trust. We got to a point not based on a legal issue, but based on a trust issue, where the level of trust between the president and General Flynn had eroded to the point where he felt he had to make a change. The Republican leadership, always uncomfortable about the unorthodox general, were relieved to see him go. You cannot have a national security advisor uh, misleading the vice president and others. So I think the president was right to ask for his resignation. This all goes back to action taken over the Christmas period by the former President Barack Obama to impose sanctions against Russia over its interference in the US election. On the 29th of December, Michael Flynn speaks to the Russian ambassador in the first of a series of calls. On the 15th of January, Vice President Mike Pence denies that sanctions were discussed. What I can confirm, having spoken to him about it, is that those conversations that happened to occur around the time uh, that the United States uh, took, took action to expel diplomats um, had nothing whatsoever to do with those sanctions. But in late January, the former acting attorney general warned the White House it might have been misled by General Flynn's account. No action was taken. But then on the 9th of February, the Washington Post revealed that Flynn did discuss sanctions and it was then that pressure grew. Michael Flynn was a spear carrier for Donald Trump during the election, making Hillary Clinton's honesty a central point of attack. We do not need a reckless president who believes she is above the law. But now it is Michael Flynn who, on a question of trust, has been found wanting and finds himself very much alone. John Sopel, BBC News, Washington. I spoke just now to Michael McFall at Stanford University. He's now a professor, but he was American ambassador to Russia and special assistant to President Obama. His politics, of course, are in line with the previous administration. The loss of a national security advisor so early is a big hit for any administration, clearly. But I suggested that politically, Mr. Trump can still recover. Yes, I mean, this is a bad start for the Trump administration. Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, I think there's wide consensus uh, if you have to hi uh, fire one of the most important people to you in terms of formulating foreign policy just three weeks in, that's a blow to the Trump administration. That's a blow to President Trump. Having said that, yes, they can recover. And most certainly, uh, I think senior administration officials throughout other agencies are hopeful that President Trump will replace uh, General Flynn with somebody that they trust and that they can work with. But we're, I think, just in the beginning of what I predict will be a long slog about trying to figure out exactly what more happened during the election period. Uh, just since we've been sitting here, the New York Times has just posted a major new article where they now can confirm, at least they, they, their sources do, anonymous sources, that senior people in the Trump campaign had contacts with Russian intelligence officers during the 2016 election. That suggests we're going to be talking about this for many more days and weeks and months to come. You were a diplomat. You know, of course, the Logan Act bars private citizens from engaging in diplomacy on behalf of the U.S. But the Trump White House could say, is saying, look, relations with Russia could hardly have been worse. We had to do something. So we were talking to them. So what? This is not a debate about policy. Uh, you know, uh, this is not a debate about what is the Russia policy. This is a con this is a loss of confidence that General Flynn had among elected officials. And first and foremost, just as as Mr. Spicer said in explaining this, uh, when he misled the vice president and then had the vice president go out on national television and deny that Mr. Flynn had talked about sanctions, he lost the faith 
of the vice president. And, and he had to go. Uh, and that's whether you're Democrat or Republican, whether you want to engage the Russians or not. What do you think Russia wants out of this? What do you think it's getting out of this already? Well, I think the initial reaction, in fact, I've seen it uh, in the press today and from uh, government officials, is they have just lost somebody that they thought was going to be a close partner for them in General Flynn. Uh, we heard in the hearings leading up to the appointments of Secretary Mattis, Secretary Tillerson, and uh, Ambassador Haley, much more confrontational approaches uh, towards Russia, consistent, by the way, very consistent with the Obama administration's policy. Flynn was considered the great hope in terms of, of lifting sanctions, recognizing what Russia was doing, recognizing perhaps acknowledging uh, Crimea being part of Russia. I think all of those hopes of a big change in policy have dimmed after, as a result of today. Michael McFaul now at Stanford. The U.S. Office of Government Ethics has called on the White House to investigate a senior presidential advisor for publicly endorsing the product line of Mr. Trump's daughter, Ivanka. Kellyanne Conway urged people to buy Ivanka Trump branded products in a TV interview last week. A statement from the Ethics Office, which is bipartisan, says there is strong reason to believe that violated standards of conduct for government officials. The retailer Nordstrom had just dropped the Ivanka Trump brand. This is just, it's a wonderful line. I own some of it. I fully, I'm going to just give it, I'm going to give a free okay. commercial here. Go buy it today, everybody. You can <laughs> right. find it online. 